What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we'll be throwing more modifications to my Honda S2000. So you guys already know, I absolutely love this car. I do have some mods that slowly being stashed up for it. Uh, you guys might notice in the back here we have a Voltex box. Unfortunately, that is not a part for my S2000. It's not even a part for my car. Um, the story behind this box is my brother purchased a part from Art of Attack two years ago. Uh, that is actually a Voltex carbon fiber wing for his Mark V Supra. And you guys know, with COVID and all that, push it way back. So we finally got it here. He just got it shipped to my house. That's why it's here. Uh, but yeah, we have yet to unbox it and I'm really excited to take off the current wing he has on his Supra and put this new one on. But yeah, that's for a whole separate video. Uh, you guys already know I love my JDM parts. I do have a small little part stash over here. And I'll be selecting some small stuff to throw on the car today. Um, small little parts like I said. I think I'm going to go ahead with the engine based stuff. So let me go ahead and unlock the car first. Pop the hood and show you guys. We've already done small little mods to the engine bay. As of right now, car looks pretty stock from the outside. We are still sitting on the AP1 wheels. So yeah, spoon wheels not on yet. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. I haven't got tires for it yet, that's why. So let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick. So here's my engine bay. It looks really good. I'm really happy with how it looks so far. And yes, it is not stock. When I bought the car, engine bay was 100%, pretty much, almost 100% stock. Uh, previous owner replaced like the uh, some of the cooling stuff, like the uh, radiator to a Mishimoto radiator, the fans as well as the AC condenser to a Denso. Uh, but with modifications wise, I first put on this ASM strut bar which looks really nice burnt look to it we also put on this discontinued and rare ARC intake I know some of you guys are like oh why do you add that it's gonna cost heat soak and all that stuff my goal for the S2000 is to make it nice make it a good driver's car you guys already know I love my JDM parts so I do have that for some JDM bling um, so I'm going to continue on with small little NG Bay modifications today. Um, I do have some Mugen goodies that I think I'm going to throw on. So, for my stash here, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the Mugen radiator cap as well as the Mugen oil cap. So these are authentic Mugen parts, they are not your eBay replica stuff. Um, over past month or so I've been slowly accumulating parts from Nugent, Spoon and a uh, bunch of rare JDM brands. So let's go ahead and throw on these two parts first today. Uh, and in an upcoming video I also do have plans to modify the interior. Um, so to give you guys a rough idea, I do have a Spoon Sports uh, mirror cover right here. I do have a Mugen shift knob that I got. And we also have a work spell short hub as well as a vertex aftermarket steering wheel with quick release. Uh, I do want to get maybe a Mugen or spoon steering wheel down the road. But yeah, interior pretty much looks stock right now. The only things I've done, I managed to find an OEM brand new in box S2000 red carpet. So as you guys know, discontinued, hard to find, but managed to find myself a set. I also added on this module 5 foam bracket, so small little mod, you know. Uh, stay tuned because besides the steering wheel, the shift knob and mirror, we also have some new seats. So I have yet to show that on camera, but they are sitting in these two boxes here. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove the stock radiator cap. Like I said, nothing special. I haven't driven my car for a while, so it's nice and cool. It's not hot or anything like that. Mugen one I'm super excited for. I know you guys can get like a cheap Mugen one off eBay for cheap, but like I said, with this build, I want some nice quality parts on it. So, yep, that's your Mugen radiator cap. I ordered pretty much most of my Mugen stuff together. If you guys are wondering where you can get your Mugen parts, uh, one of the websites I use is King Motorsports. You can get your stuff from there. Um, you can get some parts from Nengun as well. 
but they ship from Japan so they take a little bit longer um, and if you're trying to look for very discontinued stuff your best bet for example like the ERC intake I got them off uh, one of the parts reseller here in Austin He's, he goes by pain speed he has a bunch of like nice JDM goodies as well if you guys want to check that out but yeah let's go ahead and step on some of these Mugen goodies This nice little, I don't know if you can call this an instruction manual because it's pretty self explanatory. But uh, I guess tell you here some of the cars that the radiator cap fits. Everything's in Japanese, but like I said, pretty much self explanatory. So you just pretty much you gotta make sure there's the same style. Slap it on. Damn, what do you guys think? You guys like the Mugen radiator cap? And here's the stock one, I put it back in the Mugen box. What do you guys think? I think it looks nice. Again, some of you guys might be like, why are you spending money on a Mugen radiator cap? It is pretty pricey, but you know, all for the JDM engine blade points. The radiator cap, the OEM one, uh, works perfectly fine, but you know, I just want to pretty up my engine blade a little bit. As of right now, I'm just having some nice JDM goodies. Next up would be the Mugen Oil Cap. They made a few different styles, different colors, different designs, some discontinued. This one is still in production. Uh, let me go ahead and remove the stock one and show you guys how it looks. Here's how the OEM oil cap looks. This one looks in pretty mint condition still. I want to say a big thank you to the previous owners. They definitely took really good care of the car. Um, even down to the engine bay, super clean. Everything is nice and clean. So yeah, like I said, I'll do my best as a car enthusiast to keep the car as clean as I can. So right now we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Mugen oil cap. Let's go in and unbox it. It might have an instruction manual inside just like the radiator cap. So comparing the OEM oil cap, it's made of plastic. The Mugen oil cap is made of metal, has a nice weight to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and install it. Um, super easy. Oh, one more thing to note, since this is brand new, they literally have the, uh, I guess you can say the coin, not stuck on. Some people actually buy them or resell them. Uh, it's just held on by tape right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on and it's official. What I might do first just to make sure it fits real nice and the Mugen logo is facing me so I'm going to screw this cap on before putting the sticker. Here's a quick comparison between the stock one and the Mugen one. If you guys are wondering, is the OEM oil cap for sale? No, I'm actually keeping it. I think the OEM one looks great in mint condition, but the Mugen one looks so good. And I think it really ties in real nice with this oil pack being gold. I picked out the gold color Mugen oil cap. Uh, I think it comes in like black, red, gold, a few different color variations for this one. But the reason I chose gold is to match a coil pack. If I chose red, it would match with the valve cover, which I didn't want to. Um, so yeah, I think it looks real nice. It's an up close shot. Fits nice and snug. 
What do you guys think? I know it's just a real small mod, literally just a radiator cap and oil cap, but I think it looks so nice, ties in with the whole JDM theme. So again, this is the Mugen radiator cap, and we have the Mugen oil cap. So what do you guys think? I think it looks phenomenal. Yes, it's a small little cap, but definitely makes the engine may look so much better. So hope you guys like it. To be honest, for engine may bling right now, so far that's all that I want and have. Um, so like I said, we have the ASM front strut bar, the ARC intake, the Mugen radiator cap, and Mugen oil cap. Um, I think the only other JDM bling part I want in my engine bay that I've yet to find is the S2000 ARC coil pack cover. So if anybody has one or knows someone who has it who's selling it, let me know. I want to get that coil pack from ARC. So hard to find. Uh, what is the titanium on the gray cover? Doesn't matter. I just want one. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for the engine bay stuff. Uh, like I said, outside still look very stock right now. Uh, we do have the front lip being painted at the shop. Um, I also went ahead and ordered a new driver headlight, OEM headlight. Uh, you guys already know this part right here. When I first got it, it's not the best shape on the outside. I don't know if it can be wet centered down or buffed out, but I managed to find a deal on an OEM AV2 headlight for the driver. So I'm going to do that, hopefully replace it. Um, and then for the interior, like I said, we have more goodies. Uh, let me just show you guys since we're right here. This is the Spoon Sports cover for the mirror. It's gonna be blue tint as well as a white angle. And for the interior, we also have a Mugen carbon fiber shift knob. Man, this shift knob was expensive. It's in carbon fiber and it has that red ring around it. I think I paid like 300 bucks for this shift knob. Uh, but again, this is the authentic stuff, not your replica. They also do make other Mugen shift knob designs. Some are cheaper, different colors, this and that. But I wanted the carbon fiber one. I uh, think it looks real nice. Yeah, so I'll probably use the interior mods for a separate video. Um, like I said, what I'll probably do is I'll slap on the Spoon Sports uh, uh, mirror cover, the shift knob, and the steering wheel setup, probably all in one sitting, all in the same day. Uh, the reason I'm not doing it just yet is because I might have to take this car to the shop to get worked on first. So yeah, I do have to bring the car to the shop to get worked on. One thing that kind of bugs me that I want to get fixed before I throw on more aftermarket parts on the inside. So since I bought the car, I don't know if you guys can hear that, steering wheel desk has some play. And I already did check the bottom. A lot of people say, oh, if you have steering wheel play, it might have got to do with this uh, bolt right here. Let me show you guys. So I'm, I watched a video on YouTube. It says a simple 10 minute fix. So this bolt right here. There's a 10 mil bolt. When I shake the steering wheel, you can see some play. So I went ahead and tightened the 10 mil bolt, but that didn't solve my issue. Uh, it could be like the inner tie rods that need to be replaced. I'll probably go ahead and replace the inner and outer tie rod just for peace of mind. So once that's done, we'll probably have to get the alignment done on the car. So I'll probably do all that first before replacing the steering wheel and all that good stuff. So the car is slowly but surely coming alive. I know on the outside it still looks like it's stock. And uh, I, like I said, I want to throw mods at it, but um, I'm pretty sure once I put on the wheels and tires, the front lip, all that stuff, it'll drastically change the look of the car. Uh, you guys don't forget, we also have a JS Racing box up here. That is my carbon fiber wing. Nope, that's not a JS Racing wing, but I actually do have a Voltex Type 2 carbon fiber wing. Um, I got it a while back, two years back actually. The first ever part I got for the S2000, even before I bought this car. 
So I hope you guys like the S2000 videos. I'm super excited. Small mods, little by little. Um, another thing that I also do have here from Mugen actually is the Mugen, I guess you can say a license plate bolts. These are, uh, these are authentic as well. So right now I still have the license plates from Louisiana because I haven't had the title transferred yet. Uh, I'm trying to get some stuff done. I just got my inspection done. So next up, I get to get my title notarized and then bring it to the uh, tax office, get my title transfer. I do want some custom plates for the S2000 as well. So probably once I get all that done, then I'll throw on these uh, Mugen license plate bolts. And if you guys stick to the really end, I hope you give this video a huge thumbs up. Like I said, I'm super excited for the S2000 build. I hope you guys are too. Bunch of parts are already here for the build. Some parts are still waiting to be, you know, stuff like my lip, waiting to be painted. Uh, I'm still waiting to get tires. I have not got tires yet. But again, if you guys stick to the end, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe for the new channel, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.